This is Apollo Mission Control. Flight Director Cliff Charlesworth's team is on station here in the Mission Operations Control Room, ready to assume the control of this flight at tower clearance. Okay, yeah, flight controllers coming up on order sequence. Booster, how are you? Where are you going? You count? Go flight. TNC? Go flight. Jump down. Go flight. Control? Go. Network? You got it down? That's probably a flight. Mission Director, CBTS, Hall 11, verify go for launch. Go for launch. We passed the six minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11. Now five minutes, 52 seconds and counting. Booster flight. CPSS, verify go for launch. CPSS, verify go for launch. CTSC, verify go for launch. Booster flight. Verify go for launch. SRO, verify go for launch. SRO, verify go for launch. No one, verify go for launch. No one, verify go for launch. Yes, no one, verify go for launch. Yes, no one, verify go for launch. Yes, no one, verify go for launch. We have some 7.6 million pounds of thrust pushing the vehicle upward. The vehicle lift weighs uh, close to 6.5 million pounds. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. T minus 1 minute 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. Apollo 11, this is the launch operations manager. The launch team wishes you good luck and Godspeed. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong has just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We pass the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts.